Liz and this is Henry. Henry was diagnosed with Kursk when he was four months old. It was quite soon after that diagnosis that we realised that something wasn't quite right. We noticed that Henry was making repeated jerking movements with his arms and his legs, a little bit like a moro reflex. We filmed um, the movements and sent them to our neurologist and she said that she suspected they were infantile spasms. I asked her something that we'd never ever heard of before we had Henry. We had no knowledge of it at all. We didn't know how serious it was. And that meant that, unfortunately, it wasn't for another two months that Henry had a, a long EEG for half a day that managed to capture both focal seizures and infantile spasms. And when he was six months old, he began to be medicated uh, with Vigabatrin for his IS. Henry also takes Keppra for his general epilepsy and we've seen his focal seizures almost disappear since he began taking that. The Vigabatrin has had an effect for Henry. Um, before he was medicated, he could have seizures and spasms every 45 minutes to an hour, uh, 200 to 250 a day at one point, which meant that we basically couldn't do anything. We couldn't go out. We didn't want to leave Henry didn't want to take a shower without being able to have him in our line of sight. Now his infantile spasms are much less frequent. They probably occur once a week, maybe once every 10 days, unless he's unwell, for example, if he's teething or when he caught COVID recently. Um, but they do last a lot longer, sometimes for up to an hour. And that means that we now have a rescue medication called peraldehyde, which we administer after half an hour to stop the infantile spasms. The um, impact of infantile spasms has been huge um, on our life, but also for Henry. They, they do cause brain damage if they are unmedicated. And we've noticed they've caused a regression in Henry. He, he doesn't cry now uh, since he's had infantile spasms. Um, and my biggest message to parents out there is that infantile spasms are a medical emergency. Please, if you do suspect that your child is having them, seek medical help straight away and don't wait like we did.